Welcome back to Painting with Megan, and this week we're going to do a really cool painting of a silver lab puppy, you know, with a butterfly. I kind of created this because I have a recent obsession with silver lab dogs. I think they're adorable. So I wanted to create a dreamlike world where there's a silver puppy and a butterfly and maybe some cool lights. And so it kind of almost looks like he's floating, but there's a little bit of grass. So I thought it looked really cool. So we're going to do that today. And if you guys are ready, don't press pause. So for this painting, you're going to need yellow paint, green paint, black and brown, white, silver or gray, um, blue, I use silver and gray, actually, so you might want both, but we, there's a way we can get around it. And red and purple. So, you're also going to need a couple brushes. You're going to need this fat square one, a smaller square one, small detail brush, and a round one with some rough uh, brush bristles. And uh, you're also going to need a plate for you to put your paints on or something, as well as a jiffy cloth or maybe some paper towel. Maybe your parents have some old rags laying around the house. They could also use that, as well as a water cup. So if you guys are ready. Great. Hi, guys. So to get started, you should have on your palette, let me give me a second, you gotta grab mine. You should have yellow, red, purple, and white. So, if you guys are ready, grab your big fat brush, and let's make pink. So, I'm sure you guys know, if I'm going to grab this red and I put some white in it, I will get a shade of pink. So, this is a little too hot pink, so I'm going to grab some more white. Well, that looks about right. I'm going to start with that. I'm just going to go and spread it around. Whoa! Try not to throw your canvas around, guys. Okay, so we also need to make orange. So grab your red. In order to get the right color of orange, and then you need lots of yellow, and you're probably going to want to add some white to it. It's okay. You do not need to wash your brush unless you're noticing that you have way too much paint on your brush. I do right now. You might want to try and get it off. <laughs> go in and finish with the pink.
because I noticed that this is a little bit brighter than the painting that I originally did, but you know what? I never really get my paintings to look the exact same. So in order to make the bottom look a little bit more orange, I'm just gonna grab my orange and some white because I really want it to look like this is the sunset area. Um, but honestly, to get the varying degrees of color, I don't clean my brush. That is the secret. If I notice that there's too much paint on it, I will get rid of the excess of paint. But other than that, that's how you get this really cool varying degrees of color because otherwise you're not going to be able to do that. So now we're going to do the purple part. So I'm going to leave my brush because I want it to have all this giant mess of color on it. But in order to do the purple, remember that round brush I told you I wanted you to have? If you have it, grab it. If you don't have another brush, I suppose clean off your brush and grab it and clean it off so we can do the purple part. So I'm going to grab a bit of purple. If you guys are running out of white on your plate, I suggest you grab some more. I'm just going to do a slide. I'm just rapidly dabbing the tip of my paintbrush onto the canvas. just the black part. So I kind of eyeballed this and they ended up not being exact. But you know what? When you put up lights in real life, does it ever look exact? So today we'll just start. Um, you should have some black on your palette and I know it looks like I have 5 million colors in here, but I'm sick of using new plates. So you should have black on your palette and gray. Um, so the gray will do the outline of the dog after we finish our uh, doing the string part for our lights. So you can just grab your tiny detail brush and put some black on your brush. And we're gonna go kind of gonna measure it. So go to about there. Line a dot, and then. It should end up being only
want to leave a little bit of space and try and have them on the same side. Okay, so now we're going to do the two lines that should be in, well actually, now we're going to do the light part, so I'm going to go and do a circle, kind of like a weird, just like in the shape of a light, pretty big so that you can have a nice bright light, and then on the inside we'll go and do two little flicks, so that it kind of looks like the light's going like that. And we will let him dry and then we'll go back in and do some details. But I think while we wait for him to dry, we can start working on the bench. So switch to the black.
So I'm just kind of drawing it on an angle so that it looks like a bench. too wet, you might want to wait for it to dry. I'm going to try and avoid it. Not entirely. 
right shirt. I think it has something to do with the fact that I accidentally made the bench this way instead of this way. But, oh well. <laughs> side. on my hand and now I'm getting it all over my canvas. Cool. Ta -da! They're almost the same. Not exactly, but close enough. Okay, so I am going to fill in the bench again.
So now you should have some silver on your plate, yellow. Um, you should still have uh, gray left, so if you don't have that, you need some. Um, okay, so let's work on, let's do the lights first, because I want to go and do a white part afterwards. So I want you to take your tiny detail brush, and I want it to be wet. And you're going to take a tiny bit of yellow, and just kind of water it down just a little bit. And I'm just going to go, and I'm going to fill in the circle. And then I'm going to go outside the circle a bit, because light doesn't just show up in one area, right? So if you decided to do your puppy like mine, even if you didn't decide to do your puppy like mine, something that I suggest is so, you, so things show up better and you don't just have the silhouette of a dog, you might want to get two different shades of, let's say brown, silver, like whatever. So I have a really pretty shimmery silver and a gray. And I'm going to use those, and I'm even going to mix them together to create different variations of the color. And I'm even going to use a little bit of black so that I can outline certain parts of him. So, we're going to start with, I'm going to grab some silver and some gray, and I'm going to mix them together on my palette. And you really can't tell the difference, but the thing is, is you can tell the difference on the painting. I'm just going to go and do some flicks around here, give him a little bit more, look like he's hairy and not just like a bald dog. I'm going to grab a teeny speck of black so you can barely see it on the end of my brush and then I'm going to go and outline. some blue and put it on your palette for your butterfly or if you want to do your butterfly a different color that's fine. Grab whatever color you're planning to do your butterfly with. need too much blue but I also need some white. Grabbing the blue. I'm going to do with the butterfly right here.
So on the inside of it, I'm going to make it a bit lighter. So I'm going to take some white with my blue and brighten up certain spots. Gorgeous dog, but I don't know if you guys noticed the eye is missing. So on this particular dog, um, they often have green or blue eyes. So I'm gonna do blue because I have blue right here. There we go. My silver Labrador puppy sitting on a cute little bench, and all we have to do left is the green. Gotta do some grass. So I forgot to mention, you might want a round brush, at, so I'm going to use that, I'm going to use the green, I'm not going to change the colors, just going to use one same green. too much on my brush. And voila! You have your Labrador puppy. But we're missing one thing. Actually, two things, because I just realized I forgot this one teeny tiny detail we do when I went. So clean off your brush, grab your white, and we're going to go and just put a tiny little bit of white where those little end pieces are in your lights. It's going to take you a second. Just want to highlight it. Oh, and this one I can't really do because it's covered by the butterfly. Okay, and now last thing, we're going to do our signatures. So either grab a black Sharpie or some black paint. Um, I'm going to do mine right here. It's not like dry yet, but I think it'll be fine. Join us for Origami with Slint. I think we're going to get one more painting in this summer. I hope you guys had fun. And yeah. Please. This is supposed to be uploaded on my birthday. I hope it happens. And if it does, I want to see all your photographs. I want to see your dream puppies. So send me photos to the San Juan Museum Facebook page. Thanks. Bye.